Hello, this is Dahad United, the one stop for everything Manchester United. As training for our big game against Sevilla tomorrow in the Europa League quarterfinal is underway. The players are pumped up for this game and also Eric Tanak spoke to the press today out of that game tomorrow. Tanak also gave us an update on Rashford's situation, the situation with Luke Shaw and also Ganacho, all their injury situation and when we will we'll probably see them coming back. But before we go into that, tomorrow is definitely is a very, very big game for us. It's revenge, like I said before, because Sevilla, we have a bone to pick against Sevilla. It's a very, very important match. It's at home, the first leg, and we have to win. And with the pictures you can see here uh, from the training um, from training today, which was released by the club, the players are all smiling. It's an excellent thing to shave his beard. <laughs> but he's looking, everybody's looking all pumped up. Because more, we'll be looking at the midfield of probably Casemiro, um, Bruno, and Ericsson, our strongest midfield. At the back, we want to show sure would be available. So we're looking at Malaysia coming in. Then at right back, we don't know if it's going to be Dalo or Mbisaka, whatever everything that goes with. But at centre back, of course, it's going to be Martinez and Varane. And of course, in the goal post, David there. Who else? Not front. Talk about that also because it's a huge step for um, Marshall. It's time to prove himself. In the wings, we'll be seeing Anthony and Sancho probably. But let's go into everything that everything has to say about the game tomorrow and the situation of his squad. And here is what Eric Tank had to say about our midfield three of Casemiro, Bruno and Ericsson. He said, I think the balance in the midfield was good with Casemiro, Ericsson and Bruno. Casemiro, the balance player, the lineup player, Ericsson can support him but also go to the final part of the game, can create chances with key passes. Here is what he had to say about Ericsson also. He said, a really important player and I think he had seven or eight assists in the league which tells you the story. And Eric Tanag was asked about our defending and he said, I'm happy with how my team is defending. We defend with 11 and we have a great goalkeeper who gives us so many clean sheets. Talking about that right there. And yes, what I said about Harry Maguire, especially the last game, he said, we saw on Saturday how good he is. He's doing really well and he's always in contention. Of course, yeah, Harry Maguire is always in contention but as long as Martinez and Varane are fit, Maguire will never start for us except when we want to rest players. And David was also at the interview and the press conference rather and he said he was asked about um, his criticism that he usually gets mainly from the English press. And he said we keep a clean sheet. That means the team and I did a good job. The criticism is always there. You cannot please everybody. I wish I my best. We are doing a good job together. On his future he was uh, he was he answered um, he was answered about his future. He said it's now is not the time to talk about contract. That'll be done soon. But it's time to focus and keep on winning games, which is very, very important also. Before I go into what he said about Anthony Man, shall I hear what he said about Anthony when he was asked about his relationship with Anthony? And he said, of course, we expect frontline players should be a threat, but also have an effect in the final third. He has to work on that, but he's a young player. I think Anthony should be like 21, 22, I guess. Definitely he's young and he's still just new to the league. He's not, I've not been here for up to a year. I've seen a glimpse of how good he can be if he keep on working on his game. And Tenag also said, Anthony scored in big games, and if he can do that in short games, he can do it in the Premier League games. We have to win together and that is my experience with him. And he also said, Anthony, he's a fighter and he likes a challenge. When he plays, the team is winning and he's very, very, he's a very young player, can kill opponents. Of course, we can see his little skills and everything, but he needs to be more direct. So learn how to dribble, so how to take on his man, get past his man, not end up passing the ball back. And we'll see that from him going forward. Next season is going to be a new season. He's going to have a full preseason and with the team. We will definitely see progression. Tenag knows why he bought him and he work on him. And definitely Tenag's position hangs on the fact that he bought this player for 100 million. And this player cannot be a flop. Then I was asked if Anthony Masha could start more. I said, I think he's ready to start. But I said, the front line did very well against Brighton. And we picked the same squad against Everton. So it means that um, in our last game against Everton, Masha was very fit to start the game. But he didn't start him because the front line of um, Sancho, Rashford and Anthony did very well against Brentford. So he just had to play the, um, the same front line um, in, the, in that game against Everton. So that's why Masha was on the bench. But now Rashford is injured, we will see, definitely see Anthony Masha um, starting tomorrow. And also on Anthony Masha, he said the time he needs to get a goal is less. When he's in the team, we play our best football and we have our best results as a team. I defend him because I point to the stats and you see how he contributes to the team. Of course, I've, I agree very well. Marshall is our only number nine player that can play number nine perfectly for us when compared with um, Rashford or with Vegas. With Vegas, he's too slow. And Rashford is a winger, he's not a striker. So Marshall is the only good striker we have in that team. So definitely when he's there, we play um, a lot better. The problem, the problem now is Tenag has backed him up repeatedly. But would he stay fit? Because now it is time to step up when Rashford is injured. Will Marshall step up um, against 
um, Sevilla and moving forward now that Rashford is going to be out for some weeks. This is going to do that because that's going to be very, very important to us because we need goals. Right now, we need um, a 9 but 9 that will convert chances for us in the box. Don't forget to boop the like button if you're enjoying this video. Thank you. As I said before, Marshall is very, it's a very, very delicate situation because if he goes injured again, I'm sure everybody's going to be done with him. Although most of the team, um, most of the um, fans right now are kind of, um, done with him. If he gets injured, it's going to be the final um, straw. And everybody will definitely want, want him out by the summer time. But if he can stay fit from now to the season end, of course, we we'll definitely love to keep him um, going forward. But let's see how it goes. And let's see if he can pay, um, pay back Ten Hag's trust and um, protection he has given him so far. And pay him back with good performances and scoring goals and keeping fit. So earlier today, the club released a statement saying Rashford will be unavailable for Thursday's UEFA Europa League quarter-final game against Sevilla because of a muscle injury. And then um, sub subsequent assessment of the injury suggested that Rashford will be would be unavailable for a few games, but is expected to be back for the season run in. So that's what the official statement said. But here's what Ten Hag um, has to say in his press conference concerning Rashford's injury. And Tag said, it's a few games, that's his statement. I can't give more details because we don't know. We have to see how it develops. And he also said on Rashford, he's not totally broke because he knows he will return quickly. He's optimistic he will start straight on with his recovery and his rehab. So he'll be back soon. And that's very, very good news. The team handled the absence of Casemiro and um, Eriksen. And also we handled the absence of Luke Shaw. So I'm definitely sure the team can handle the absence of um, Rashford as long as Marshall is up and doing. would we'll be okay. But also it's time for him to just focus on his recovery because he'll be back soon. Like probably early early or mid-May he'll be back. And when he's back, he's going to continue scoring goals. And hopefully his form continues. And that will be very, very important because those ending games of his season are very, very important. And that's when we need to really solidify our stance in that third or, or, or fourth whichever it is and also maybe we would have qualified for some few finals and we'll be looking forward to playing those finals so it's going to be definitely good to see to see Rashford back but for now it's time for just focus on his recovery and that's just it and on Luke Shaw and Ganacho's injuries I said both are not available definitely the injury of Ganacho is more severe but I expect Luke Shaw to be back on shorter notice so let's say Luke Shaw's injury sh maybe in the next week or two weeks he should be back but Ganacho like I said is more severe so for now, we don't know when Gantry is going to return. And hopefully, he does return around the same time Rashford also returns because we need these players. We need as many players as possible. But I get it. It's not a one-man squad. It's a 25-man team. A 25-man squad. And every player um, should step up when, this, when some important players are injured. So, we'll be hoping that players can step up during these times. But also, we need everybody back fit. Casemo and everything are back. Very, very happy that our midfield will return to his normal um, condition. Malaysia can do a job in Rashford uh, in Shaw's absence, but we need our best players back. But hopefully, everybody's going to be back very soon. Don't forget, since I had United, the one stop for everything Manchester United. Tomorrow is a big game. It's a revenge game against Sevilla. Hopefully, we'll get a very, very good win and a comfortable win against Sevilla tomorrow. Hopefully, Masha getting a goal or two. That would be very impressive. Keeping a clean sheet also. Good for David, good for our defence and good for everybody. We play very well in this um, first leg. We win comfortably, go to um, Spain and beat them again. And yes, it's victory, revenge completed and on to the next um, stage which is the semi-finals. But as of for now, this is Die Hard United, the one stop for everything Manchester United. Don't forget to leave a like on this video and join the community of Die Hard Manchester United fans all around the world. And I will see you all on the next one. Cheers.